Hello dear students, in this video lecture I am going to discuss about the thermodynamics of the Peltier effect. Consider a thermocouple consists of a two metal, metal A and B and a temperature T1 at the hot junction and temperature T2 at the cold junction. Due to the temperature difference between the two junctions of a thermocouple, there is a EMF produced in the circuit and this effect is nothing but a Seebeck effect. According to the Peltier effect, if we pass the current in the thermocouple, the heat is absorbed at a one junction at a temperature T1 and this junction we have to call it as a hot junction and at the other junction the heat is rejected at a temperature T2 and this junction we have to call it as a cold junction. Right? And this Seebeck effect and Peltier effect both are the reversible effect. Both are the reversible effect. Thus, the thermocouple acts as a reversible heat engine. Heat engine means the heat engine there is the there is one source and there is a sink. Means from the source heat is absorbed and it does some work and the remaining amount of the heat is rejected to the sink. Similarly, in the thermocouple the amount of the heat is absorbed from the source. Source is nothing but a hot junction. And it does some work. Means driving the current in the circuit. And remaining amount of the heat is rejected to the sink. In this thermocouple, the sink is nothing but a cold junction. Okay. When 1 ampere of current passes through the thermocouple for a 1 second. Okay. Then the Peltier coefficient at the hot junction is pi 1 and the Peltier coefficient at the cold junction is pi 2. The heat produced at the hot junction, the heat produced at the hot junction at a temperature T1 is that is H1 is equal to pi 1 IT that is due to the Peltier effect. So H1 is equal to pi 1 IT. Here we have passed the 1 ampere of current for 1 second. So I is equal to 1 and T equal to 1 and H1 is equal to pi 1. And heat rejected at the cold junction. Heat rejected at the cold junction at a temperature T2. That is H2 is equal to pi 2 IT. And I is 1 ampere and T is a 1 second. So H2 is equal to pi 2. Hence the amount of the heat energy utilized to set up the thermo EMF in the circuit. So that E is equal to pi 1 minus pi 2. And Peltier coefficient it is a reversible effect like uh, like a, a Carnot reversible heat engine according to the law of the thermodynamics at the hot junction that is uh, with the relation I am going to take it as a H1 divided by T1 is equal to at the cold junction H2 divided by T2 okay we know that H1 is nothing but a pi1 and H2 is nothing but a pi2 okay now I am going to substitute in the place of H1 and H2 then we will get a pi1 divided by T1 is equal to pi2 divided by T2 right I am going to take this pi2 on this side and t1 on that side. Okay, pi1 divided by pi2 is equal to t1 divided by t2. Subtract by 1 on the both side. Okay, after the mathematical simplification, we will get pi1 minus pi2 divided by pi2 is equal to t1 minus t2 divided by t2. Okay, then I am going to take pi2 on the uh, on this side. So pi1 minus pi2 is equal to pi2 divided by t2 into t1 minus c 2 and pi1 minus pi2 is nothing but the EMF setup in the circuit is directly proportional to the temperature difference between the hot junction and cold junction of a thermocouple. Okay, the, uh, if we plot a graph EMF versus temperature difference, according to this relation we will get the straight line. Okay, but actually if we verify with the practical values, uh, experimental values, then we will get the parabolic Curve. Okay, this is all about the thermodynamics of the Peltier effect.